I think the DEI work that we do at Western Reserve is really powerful and really transformational for students. It really has an opportunity to shape our young people moving forward and to how they go into society and ultimately being able to have a larger impact on this world to be real change makers and agents of change in society and take on these leadership roles globally. So I think the work that we do in helping build that foundation for them in terms of being ethical citizens, in terms of being open-minded, I think that's something that's a real opportunity for us here. I think one thing that comes with any type of successful DEI work is not having it solely rest in the hands of one individual or one office, but really making it an institutional held value and an institutional held responsibility. So I think I've done a lot of good work with building those relationships with faculty, planning a few professional development opportunities that give them the opportunity to do that introspection and self-reflection and think about how that applies to their work in the classroom also just building a reputation and a climate in my office where faculty feel they are able to come forward if they have questions, if they have concerns, something happened in class, they want to figure out how to process it, or maybe they just want new ideas or approaches on how to approach something in the classroom or in the dorm or whatnot. So really being a thought partner with our faculty I think is one of the things that I am most proud of this year. I think of all this work with DEI similar to any type of classroom instruction, that there are things that our students can accomplish with guidance, with scaffolding, with structure, with mentorship, that they wouldn't happen, wouldn't happen on their own, that they wouldn't be able to accomplish on their own, that they wouldn't naturally think to look to on their own. So I think, again, of their DEI work is not something separate from our education and our academics, but something that's a part of it and ultimately enhances it. When I think about the ethos that I would like students from WRA to be able to take into the world once they leave, and even while they're here, um, I would want them to both have a curiosity and an openness to engage with people across lines of difference, a curiosity to learn more about people who aren't like them, that there is so much more in the world, there's stuff that I don't know yet, and that I can learn more. That's first step. The second step is I'd ultimately want them to be forces for good. I'd want them to be students where they can see something happening and recognize and identify some of the challenges with it, what might be issues of inequity that are abound here, and then actively work towards proactively trying to change that, to be those peacemakers, to be those people who are able to help um, find solutions and really find common ground with folks. So that's what I would hope.